The first 20 minutes are complete. Harding three. Got it, left wing. Connor Harding for three. The second half is about to begin. No look low to Yo. Yo throws it down. Two-hand hammer for Yo. This is BYU Basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Opening half number two here at the Marriott Center. Dalton Nixon missing a three-pointer right corner. BYU 0 for 5 from 3. The lead 21 over UT Tyler. Driving, scooping, scoring. Ty Glover hanging back and hitting. Glover's got four. Chance to make it five as he's fouled on the lean back down the left side of the baseline. Just the first foul on Dalton Nixon. Uh, Childs, Nell, Neal have two. And Marcelo has three. Free throw good by Glover. He's got five. 40 to 22, just underway here in half number two. Cougars in front court. Glover picked off and saved in on the far sideline. Alford racing it with a Euro step. Layup is missed with the left hand. Rebounded well by Colin Wilkerson. He's tied up and whistle blown. Out of bounds or was a foul call there? Step out. Jump ball. Jump ball. So goes to UT Tyler. So baseline send in here. And now he got Harding bumping, I think, on the inbounds play. Yep, they got called Connor for it. So on Connor, that's number one. And uh, three fouls early here in the first 44 seconds. Two against. BYU won against UT Tyler. Cougs with the pickoff, and Alex Barcelo racing it, pulling it up at the free throw line and scoring it. Alex Barcelo with points five and six. Free throw line jumper for AB. He's got a half dozen. BYU's lead 20 now at 42 22, one minute into half number two. Smith lobs it to the opposite side of the rim, collected by Glover. Contested shot missed. Connor Harding rebounds and is fouled. And Glover picks that up. So Glover's got his fourth. The Patriots have their second of half number two, and BYU will take it from back to front, the full length of the floor. One minute, eight seconds into the second half. Already four fouls in the first 68 seconds of the half. Marcelo pretty impressive in his ability to accelerate and to stop on a dime and go straight up with it under control. Colby Lee, top of the key. Far away from the hoop is Toulson. Toulson at the free throw line. Spins down the lane. No look kick in the corner. There it is. First three-pointer of the night for BYU comes courtesy of Connor Harding. And that's $50 donated to the American Red Cross, courtesy of Mountain America Credit Union on that three-pointer from Connor Harding. BYU now one for six from deep and the lead 23, 45-22. to 22. And that is the Cougars' large lead of the night, 23 points. It's like, uh, it's like Sarah Connor. He terminated that shot. This week, big week, Terminator out this week, Greg. It's called Terminator Dark Fate. Is that the name of the movie? I think it is. Okay. Sarah Connor back. The, the return, of, the return back. of Linda Hamilton. Connor Harding's back. Yes. <laughs> UT Tyler in front court. They go right to left here in the second half. Backdoor flash and the short shot missed at the rim. Loose ball foul. It's a nice play. The trigger man was Wilkerson and... Uh, they go way up top, and he goes and immediately posts up, and they go right back to him, wide open, miss the layup. The foul's on Cisse. Ansu Cisse has his third. The Patriots have their third, and both teams three fouls each here early in half number two. Still less than two minutes gone here in the second half. Dalton Nixon, top of the key, lost the handle and streaking down the floor. All the way to the rim for two is Darius Alford. He's got six, 45-24. BYU's lead 21. 21 was the halftime cushion. Barcelo again stops in the paint. Little six-footers missed. Scrambled hard for the rebound. Couldn't squeeze it. Alford comes the other way. Has Nixon backpedaling. Nixon defends well. Forcing a miss. Colby Lee the rebound. Gives the tools. And Jake will now bring it back to front. Two minutes, 15 seconds into half number two. BYU by 21. 45-24. BYU's been a little dribble happy in this half. Need to do more ball movement. Rolling low is Lee. Sees a double, open is Toulson. He'll repost it to Colby. Colby single teamed, soft double, jump hook by Colby. Good. We are all Colby Liebers tonight as Colby Lee now double figures with 11, the first player to double figures, 17 19 to play, and BYU's up 23 47 24. 
on the left wing. Alford terminates. Angle right to Giles. Hand off there to Wilkerson. Colin Wilkerson then did not play first half, seeing action early in half number two. Alfred, three-point land left. Quick move on Toulson, stumbling with the ball into the corner of the kick. The shot is missed. Three Cougs go for the rebound. Barcelo comes away with a good hustle. 47-24. Alex stopping just inside the arc. No look to the trailer. Three. Good again. Smooth. Now they're dropping. Jake Toulson for three. It's JT for three. <laughs> I missed that stroke, man. That is smooth as butter. Mm. Another Mountain America three-pointer. BYU, two of them here in the second half, and the lead climbs to 26, 50 to 24. Shot miss UT Tyler. Rebound Colby Lee. Outlet Jake Toulson. Jake Toulson, front court right side. We used to call JT for three about Jonathan Tabernari. Now it's Jake Toulson. Toulson! Driving and throwing it up with the left hand off the window, and that's good. 52-24. BYU by 28. Giles to answer. Squeezes it up and gets it to go, and a foul chance for a three-point play with 16-11 to go. Here at the Marriott Center. The foul to Dalton Nixon. 52-24. Goes to 50, 50, should be 52-26 now, right? They did make that bucket, counted it. So the scoreboard's yet to change, but 52-26 is our score. And a free throw forthcoming as Alex Barcelo will check out. Barcelo leaving on six points, two rebounds, and an assist. He'll have a seat as Chris Giles lines up a free throw. UT Tyler just 3 of 7 on the free throws tonight. Cougars exactly doubling up the visitors out of Division 2. Transitional to Division 2 program, UT Tyler. Reclassifying from Division 3. They'll be active full-term Division 2 in 2021. Free throw missed. Struggle tonight. 3 of 8 now on the charity tosses. Giles misses. BYU in front court straight away. Yoli Childs. Trevin Nell enters it to Toulson. Toulson, a little post move, and he flips it up with the right hand. Jump hook fading away, and Jake Toulson now gives the Cougars a 30-point lead, 55, make a 28-point lead. He's showing off. 54-26. His whole toolbox hits a long three, (laughs) and then a driving lay-in, and then the post move. Long jumper missed by UT Tyler. They track down the rebound. Toolbox indeed. 15 points for Jake. Spinning away from pressure from Yoli Childs is Micah Fuller, who backs it up with a 10-second shot clock. Fuller now at the right elbow, leaned in, mm. underhand, craftily scores. 54-28. 15-19 to play the under-16 minute media timeout. Forthcoming, Blaze Neal, straight away Yoli Childs. Feeds the paint to Colby Lee, shuffled the feet, traveled, turnover, timeout. 15.09 to play here at the Marriott Center. BYU 54, UT Tyler 28 on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Law firm. Let's get you back to the Mo Betta's courtside seats and the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. At Edge, we sell pest control, knock doors, and love it. With your commitment and our managers, you'll sell more and have an amazing experience. Join us. Check us out on social media at Edge. D2D or visit them online at edgeD2D.com. 15.09 to play here in the second half. It is BYU leading UT Tyler by a score of 54 to 28. Jake Toulson, 15 points to pace the Cougs on 7 of 11 shooting. Colby Lee with 11 is the other Cougan double figures. Greg Rubel, Mark Durant, your commentary tandem. Back together for another season, our 23rd season together. And we're assisted on stats by former Cougar great Russell Larson. Seen a lot of things, us three. Been through the wars, Mark. (laughs) Come out on the other side. UT Tyler from back to front, right to left here in half number two. Having just checked in, Bradley Mason did not play Wednesday at Utah, did not play in the first half here tonight, but sees his first action. It's an offensive foul turnover on uh, UT Tyler. Micah Fuller with his uh, third and the Patriots with their fourth of half number two. Team fouls even four apiece. We've played exactly five minutes in the second half with eight fouls between the two teams. Blaze kneeled, working it into four court. Blaze out of Lehigh and USU Eastern. Childs low to Mon. Mon missing beneath the rim. Out of bounds off of UT Tyler. It'll stay BYU basketball. You know, what things Yoli really does well is passing the ball. I mean, the, 
He, he senses the double there. and I still dump off to Taylor. Blaze will send in baseline to the right of the basket. A feint. And then a give in to Toulson. A touch pass to Yo. And Yo's jump hook shot is off the back iron. No good. Rebounded by the Patriots. UT Tyler in the front court. Micah Fuller straight away between the rings. 14.30 to play. Cougs leading by 26. The game high lead's been 28. Straight away Fuller. Drive, pull up, 10-footer strong. Rebounded by Taylor Maughan. He'll let Jake Toulson bring it up. No T.J. Haas tonight. We'll see T.J. on Tuesday against Cal State Fullerton. We will not see Yoli Childs. who missed the first nine games. A nice drive and a no-look from Toulson. Corner three, missed by Blaze. Tapped up in the air by Childs. Brought down by Wilkerson. He gives to Fuller. And the Patriots are away with 14.04 to play here in Provo. Fuller to Bryson Power. Takes a pass over the head of Taylor Mott and faked out his teammate. Passer right out of bounds. That's the funny thing. Yeah. Because he does the whole <laughs> fake over the head, and yeah. Taylor Mott doesn't even buy it. And right. then he just goes ahead and throws it out of bounds. <laughs> Serves him right. Power will check out to consider that last sequence on the bench. 13.55 to play. Power down over there. <laughs> Cougars doing a good job fighting the power and everyone else on the UT Tyler roster tonight. 26-point lead. Toulson flips it low to Yo, sends it out to the cutting Blaze. Blaze in the corner, three on its way, and good. Three-pointer, right corner, Trevin Nell. The Cougars with three threes in the second half. Another Mountain America three-pointer, and BYU's lead is 29-57-28. Driving, missing are the Patriots. It was Giles' missed shot. Rebound, Toulson. Toulson front court right side for BYU. Game high lead for the Cougs now, 29. Oh, Jake! Long two for Toulson that time. That's 17 for JT. And BYU's lead 30-plus for the first time this evening, 59-28. That was a little drive, step back, long shot. We'll call that a Zions Bank shot of the game. For a financial slam dunk, Zions Bank is for you. The Zions Bank shot of the game. Jake Toulson. Left wing blaze. No look Mon. Cycle right corner. Nell again for three. Again! Trevin Nell! 62 to 28. BYU no threes in the first half. Four after halftime. Ask not for who the Nell tolls. It tolls for three. <laughs> BYU four for six from deep here in the second half. Expanding the lead to 30. Four points. Game high cushion. Another Mountain America three pointer. Trevin Nell you in that right corner. Really good ball movement, too. That's the exciting thing. It's going in, it's coming back out, it's going around the horn. Guys in the corner, wide open. Nell's not going to miss a lot of those. Guys like Toulson Nell, Connor Harding, kind of that same old big guys that uh, you know can, can hit that three, take it to the hoop, can post up. That's what you need in today's game. A likely death knell for UT Tyler, now trailing by 34 in this one. Mason, left wing Giles, the give there to Alford. Straight away Fogel having checked in for the first time tonight. Now right wing Giles with a five-second shot clock. Chris Giles will drive, step back long to, no, it's off the... Backboard, the rim, and now to the hands of Yoli Childs. Yoli down the barrel. Euro step back, and he's fouled on his way up with the shot. He'll get two free throws with 12-12 to play, and BYU leading it big, 62-28. to The foul will go against Chris Giles, his first. Team foul number five against UT Tyler. Remarkable that somebody could have only a first foul in this game. And Giles has played a lot of minutes, but he picks up his first, and Yo goes to the line for two. And makes the free throw. 63-28. BYU's game high lead climbs to 35 for the first time. And for Yo, that's now 8. Toulson leads with 17. Lee with 11. This for 9. No. Bounced around all the parts of the rim and then dropped off. So it stays at 8 for Yoli. BYU's lead stays 35, 63-28. Saw Kobe Lee coming in for him. He wanted a couple more minutes. Post feed, Fogel. Fogel spinning around Childs who contests and fouls and sends UT Tyler to the free throw line. After this, 11.58 to play. BYU 63, UT Tyler 28 on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. 
You're listening to BYU Basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Here's Jerem Jordan with a scoreboard update. First quarter in Sacramento, the Utah Jazz down 10, 21, 11, 4, 12 to go in the first. Back to the courtside seats with Greg Rubel. Jerem Jordan, thank you very much. Diamonds Direct, lowest prices, three stores located across from the malls in Orem, Sandy, and Murray, Sierra West Jewelers. We price match. No chance of UT Tyler score matching the Cougars tonight. Cougs up 35, 63, 28, 11, 58 to play here in Provo. Next time we talk to you from this venue, it'll be Tuesday night. It'll be BYU's regular season opener with the Cal State Fullerton Titans in town. Fullerton taking a Division II loss to Cal State mm, Dominguez Hills ugly. last night. Now, they were down quite a few players. Fullerton was. Players they'll have back, at least some of them, on Tuesday. So it should be a better effort on Tuesday. Don't be too fooled by the outcome last night, but they'll certainly look to bounce back. Cal State Fullerton and BYU, Tuesday, 6, uh, six o'clock radio pregame, 7 o'clock tip as we come back in free throws for UT. A banked-in free throw. A banked-in free throw as we return by Xavier Fogel. A 62% free throw shooter last year. Karam's in the first. And swishes the second. Found his range. <laughs> Scoreless just, in six minutes on the hill Wednesday. Dialing it in. <laughs> now he's got it. And BYU mm. turned it over on the uh, on the inbounds. It's like Connor. I thought Connor might have thought it got hit because he looked like he might have been able to get it and kind of drew back and goes out of bounds. So miscommunication between Harding and Nell on the end line. So UT Tyler gets the ball right back and looks to extend the possession. Timeout. Couldn't get it in. So UT Tyler calls a timeout that we will take. We just broke. We'll break again. 11.56 to play here at the Marriott Center. And I think we're going to take a full. Let's just wait one second. Suspense is killing We are taking a break. We'll take a break. We'll come back with more Cougar basketball. 63-30, Cougs lead the Patriots on the new skin BYU Sports Network. This is BYU basketball on the new skin BYU Sports Network. BYU 63, UT Tyler 30. UT Tyler out of Tyler, Texas. Enrollment 10,527. 17th season of men's basketball for the Patriots. First season of two seasons of provisional Division II membership. Is that like a UT, like UC schools? Exactly. Same type of thing? UT Austin, UT Tyler. UT San Antonio, etc. Driving shot good. Move. Yes, by Darius Alford. He's got eight. So four in a row for UT Tyler. Free throws, then a BYU giveaway on the inbounds, and then that basket there from Alford. BYU in front court now. Blaze kneeled on the bump. Left wing Trevin Nell. Couple threes for Trevin here in the second half. Into Lee. Good cross court spot to Harding. Harding sees an open mm. path. Takes it right to the rim and drops it over the tin for two. Connor Harding scores to make it 65 32. And for Connor, that's points six and seven. Make it eight. Eight points for Connor now. BYU by 33. More than doubling up the visitors. 11 05 to play here in Provo. Pull up jumper Fogel. Back iron. Rebound Taylor Mon. Quick outlet to Harding. Connor front court left side. BYU on the floor with Harding, Nell, Mon, Lee, Neeld. Taylor Mon. Dribble handoff right wing to Harding. Stripe extended. Straight away Colby Lee. Colby Lee gives there to Neeld on the arc left side. Back to Colby. Mid post left. Gives his backside to Fogel. Bounces two times, three times, four. Gets deep. Jump hook good again. <laughs> That's just. I, I love I mean. He's big and strong. Use it. Knock your, your bang your guy down. Get him in the paint. Little jump hook. That's exactly what he should do. Nice move. 67-32. BYU by 35. An in and out long jumper by UT Tyler. They get the offensive rebound. Stick back and score. So Jared Jenkins on the putback has his first two. And 67-34. 10-15 to play here at the Marriott Center. Taylor Mon. Dribble handoff to Nell for three. Again. <laughs> Trevin Nell here in the second half. Three threes. He's three for three from three. And the Cougars expand the lead to a game high 36, 70 to 34. BYU didn't hit a single three in the first half. And they've gone five for seven after halftime. Taylor Mon bumps 
Giles in the corner. It'll be a foul on Mon. That's another Mountain America three-pointer. Five Mountain America threes here in the second half for BYU. 0 for 4 in the first half. 5 for 7 second half. And the Cougars push the lead now to 36 at 70 to 34. 9.51 to play. you got some smooth stroke guys out there. Trevin, Connor, Jake Toulson. Those guys can all shoot the ball, and it looks so good when they do. UT Tyler inbounding. Sixth team foul against BYU last time. Five against UT Tyler. They work it around the arc. The ball stops top to Smith. Angle right to Mason. Left wing, Wilkerson. Corner fake by Weish. Now floats it up and scores it from the base. UT Tyler playing much better this half. A little more proficient offensively. Dejan Weish with his first two. 70-36 to is the BYU lead. Kobe Lee outside the left elbow. Let's traffic clear, holds the ball above his frame, and gives off to Nell. Nell pulls Feeling and it. fires and scores again! Trevin Nell, big smile across his face. Four for four from deep here in the second half, and the Cougars lead 73-36. to Oh, Nelly. <laughs> Wilkerson, left corner. Drives Mon to the block, squeezes it up, and scores it. Connor Wil- Colin Wilkerson with his first two. 73-38, but now the... Uh, Patriots answering pretty much every time back as Neal took a uh, body check with 8.52 to play. Neal was bumped out of bounds. Non-shooting on team foul number six. Beat BYU out of bounds with 8.52 to play. Plays Neal scoreless on 0 for 2 tonight. The only players to play and yet score are Neal and Mon currently. BYU 6 for 12 from 3, 6 for 8 in the second half. Neal to Nell again. Ah, this one misses. Stick back and miss by Nixon, but he'll get fouled and a chance to make up at the free throw line. Nell's like, I had to shoot it, right? <laughs> rule, rule number one in basketball, <laughs> Shoot Greg. till you miss. Shoot till you miss. <laughs> I've been with you long enough to know. Rule number two. Shoot if or you shoot? S- shoot or sh- no. <laughs> if you steal it, you deal steal it. it. Dalton at the free throw line for two and makes the first. BYU basketball brought to you by Siegfried and Jensen. Siegfried and Jensen has been helping Utah families for over 25 years. BYU 74, UT Tyler 38. 75-38, Dalton two for two. Nixon now with nine on the night. Some some really good balance here. I mean, a lot of guys getting to play because of this game, but the nice balance scoring. Chris Giles straight away, dribble handoff, stolen by Nell. Nell secures it for BYU, and he's fouled. And he'll get free throws on team foul number eight, one and one at the other end for BYU. Well, I'll be on Fuller. He's got four. Sorry, Mark. I'm partial to Trev, and I, <laughs> I got asked him to come speak this summer in priesthood in camp, and he, he and Colby Lafson drove about two half hours each way and were just awesome. I mean, just fresh off their missions and. So excited to see him playing so well. I was sad to see Colby leave, but Aunt Trevin has had a really nice night in uh, this opener. First team All-State in his last high school season of 2016-17. A Cal commit, then a mission, and then to BYU. And the Cougars are happy to have him. Trevin Nell, 4 of 5, all from the arc, 12 points in 14 minutes of play. Free throw good by Trevin. Second Rattles home. So two for two for Trev, and that's 14 points for Nell. Toulson 17, Nell 14, Lee 13 to pace the Cougs tonight. 77-38, BYU by 39 points. Game high cushion. 8.25 to go here at the Marriott Center. Good to be back. Cougar basketball. Oh, great split and drive to the hoop and score by Micah Fuller. He's got that was, six. That was big time. He saw that uh, uh, off the screen, saw another player coming to defend him. He just went right through that double team. Taylor Mon outside the right elbow to the right wing. His pass to Nixon knocked out of bounds. Not able to save it in on the sideline was Ansu Cisse. It'll be BYU basketball. Right in front of our broadcast location, Mon will send in. Looking, looking, and sending into Connor Harding. Connor, eight points on three of four tonight. And seven rebounds for Harding. Toulson, seven rebounds also. Eight for Nixon. Nell, free throw line jumper, got it. Trevin Nell, 14 (laughs) points. 7.45 to play. BYU 79 and UT Tyler 40. The lead equaled at, game high lead equaled at 39 again. 
Driving stripped on his drive with 7.37 to play is Cisse. Free throws after this. I make it uh, Cisse or Alford who was stripped. Either way, free throws coming up next for UT Tyler. 7.37 to go. BYU big as in 79, or rather as in 79 to 40, 39 point lead worth of big here on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Let's get you back to the Mo Betta's courtside seats and the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. 7.37 to play here at the Marriott Center. BYU 79, UT Tyler 40. BYU shooting 58% from the field, but 70% after halftime. 46% from the arc and 67% from the arc after halftime. And on the night with free throws, BYU 77%. You're going to win a lot of games at 58, 46, and 77. UT Tyler shooting 32, 10, and 50, respectively. All those numbers lead to a 39-point BYU cushion. Trevin Nell didn't hit his first shot of the game until 13-37 was left in the second half, and he's since scored 16 points after going zero points through the first 26-plus of this game. Speaking of uh, Colby Lason, he went with Trevin. That's what Colby did his first exhibition game. If you remember, he made like nine threes in that game. Let's go way back. Before the break, Mike uh, Darius Alford was fouled on the drive. That gives him two free throws and a miss there. So the uh, rough free throw night continues for UT Tyler. Now at 5 for 11 at the stripe. I think the students are still, is it still the same promotion where if you miss back-to-back free throws, they all get free food or something? They seem to be engaged in this. He made it. (laughs) They're crestfallen on the free throw make by Alford. He's got nine. No Patriots double figures as Cameron Pearson has checked in for the first time tonight. BYU beats Press into front court with Neald. Coming right side of the floor. Back to his left. Takes a bump from Alford and stays with it. Blaze Neal still on the bounce. Releases to Mon. Baseline drive. Drift pass to Harding. Out to Pearson. Turnaround jumper on the pirouette. Missing it back rim. Rebound to UT Tyler. 79-41. BYU leads 38. Game high lead's been 39. Weish lobs it in the post to Cisse. Cisse sends it back out to Weish. Top of the key. Three good. Dejon Weish with the three. He's got five. And from the arc, UT Tyler tonight to 2 for 11. 2 for 11. Yes, indeed. Blaze Neal, he'll cross over. Drive and kick. Harding will fake the three. Penetrate. Deflected pass out to Cameron Pearson. Hands on the wing left side. He tried to split the defense and traveled. Mon turns it over with 631 to play. 79-44, 79-44, the BYU lead 35. Cougars 10th turnover on the night to 12 for UT Tyler. Connor had a look in the corner. I, he's got to shoot that. He's a good shooter and they like to put it on the floor and they don't get anything out of it. If you give me a choice to have Connor, it looks like we have a timeout. If you give a choice to have Connor shooting an open three in the corner, I, I want him to shoot that. So 30-second timeout taken by UT Tyler. We'll stay right here with it. That's uh, it's funny as I say that, Cody Figure goes straight to him. So you got to shoot that man. He's like, I oh, know, I'm going to shoot it. That would be a smart decision to shoot it. Here's a smart decision. UCCU's 4321 cash back credit card giving you up to 4% cash back on the spending you do the most. UCCU, love where you bank. You can bank on us being back with you Tuesday. BYU and Cal State Fullerton in both teams' regular season opener. Two-game week next week. BYU home to San Diego State on the weekend. Old yeah, that's Mountain cool. West Conference rivals. BYU's back got together. some business to take care of after last year's that, fiasco there. That got come, away from BYU. Came off that last-second killer at UNLV and then went, just got blitzed by the Aztecs. So BYU and SDSU one week from tomorrow. Back here at the Marriott Center. Greg, did I ever tell you how awesome Dave Hall is? <laughs> He's have, my hero. You have mentioned that. <laughs> Dave Hall, one of tonight's three referees, and we've seen David over many a game and many a year. He looks pretty good. I mean, been doing this 40 years, he look, looks, still looks pretty good. And like you said, these, this is a guy that officiated games you played in. <laughs> That's amazing. 
Amazing, yep. Because I'm old. <laughs> Russ is young, but I'm old. You and me both, brother. But I, I feel I, young. I knew you when you didn't have hair. <laughs> Ansu Cisse, left wing for UT Tyler. We have 6.15 to go. Paint penetration ends up in a deflection to Cisse. Squeezed it up, knocked out of bounds. It'll stay UT Tyler basketball. 30-second shot clock, 6-11 game clock. The BYU lead 35. It's been as high as 39 tonight. Dejan Weish, the lob entry to Cisse. Cisse stops in the paint, put it up with the right hand, missed it. Rebound falls to Cameron Pearson. Pearson has it knocked away from behind. He didn't see the guy we saw, which was Weish coming up his backside. It's a little sloppy. I mean, you got second, third team type guys in here. You, obviously, you got what you wanted out of your main guys. You don't want an injury. Another bucket. Weish driving around Pearson. Scores point six and seven, 79-46. 5.45 to go. Harding dribble handoff right wing Pearson. Angle left to Neald. Nice cut to the basket by Mon. Mon hit on his way to the hoop. He'll get two free throws out of it. Taylor to the line. So Taylor looking for his first points on an 0 for 2 shooting night. Hey, Greg, what's an update on uh, Zach Selius' situation? <laughs> He's uh, come along so well that he was uh, apparently begging Coach Pope to play tonight. But they've uh, kept him in his sweats and will try and trot him out there on Tuesday. That's good news. Because getting him ready for the season opener was kind of the hope, maybe, but you never really know. Coming off the broken foot in Italy, but he's uh, had great recovery, and the plan is to get him out there for the opener. Yeah, you know, he's kind of another six, 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 seven shooter guy, and you know BYU's going to be smaller, but not really because you've got second free throws good for Mon. You got four or five guys that are at six, seven ish. You know that that that's just the nice, nice sweet spot. You can guard big, can guard smaller. It's a turnover. So Mon goes two for two on the free throws. BYU gets the steal. Mon right wing Nell for another three. That's good again. Trevin Nell, sweet as sugar with that stroke. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that stroke, man. 84 to 46, and Trevin Nell with after halftime, five threes. Five for six from deep. BYU sends it out of bounds on the baseline. 504 to go. 84 to 46, the Cougar lead. Give Taylor Mom the assist on that three-pointer from Trevin Nell. Jumper missed by Alford, rebounded by the Cougs. Blaze Neal in the front court right side. BYU's not led by 40 at any point tonight. They may, as Connor Harding gets hit on his way to the hoop. He gets two free throws out of it on team foul number 10 by UT Tyler. So free throws coming up for the Cougs. And Connor Harding will shoot two with BYU up by a score of 84-46. to So a 38-point lead for BYU. Harding at the line. Connor tonight, 8 points, 3 of 4. Shooting 8.7 rebounds for Harding. Connor shoots and scores at the free throw line. So BYU equals its game high lead of 39. And this for a 40-point lead for the first time tonight. UT Tyler will come back to the Beehive State next week. They've got a, a Division II challenge showcase with Westminster and Dixie. Among the Utah teams involved. Going to get their permanent residency here. Yeah. Eesh. Two for two for Connor. BYU by 40. 86 to 46. 40 point lead for the first time this evening. 4.45 to go. UT Tyler in front court left side. A right wing pass to Alford. Up top to Jenkins. Jenkins will drive it. Stop at the left elbow. Give out to Alford. Alford a one handed whip on the wing right side to Weish. Weish leans into Pearson. Terminates and goes back door. And the back door cut results in a whistle. And what do we have? Tap out of bounds or a foul on the Kooks. Tap out. So 4.31 to go on a nine-second shot clock. It stays for UT Tyler. The Patriots in the Lone Star Conference in Division Two. It's the second year of a three-year transition process. Their head coach was a previous D2 head coach at Adams State. And that coach, Lewis Wilson, has coached a lot of games in the Beehive State at Southern Utah. Three-pointers good from Weish. Southern Utah. Utah State, Idaho State, Grand Canyon, a lot of Northridge as well. So he's coached a lot of games in these parts. Knows this building well, as he told us in pregame. 86-49 off the three-pointer from Weish. Blaze Neald all the way to the rim. Nice little navigation there by Neald, and Blaze has his first two. So the only player to play and not score tonight for BYU is Cameron Pearson. We'll see if we can fix that. 88-49 Cougs. 4 one to go. Floater by Weish, no good. 
Connor off to Karam. Harding in the front court right side to Blaze Neal on the arc. Gets into the paint. Back to Connor. Open three. Takes it and makes it. Connor Harding for three. Carding Connor to 13 points in BYU now with his 8-3 all coming after halftime. BYU is 0 for 4 followed by 8 for 11 from deep. 91 to 49. 335 to go. A tip steal by Connor. Connor out in front. Lays it up and in. Connor Harding. Breakaway score. 15 for Connor. And the Cougars up 93-49. 44-point lead now for BYU. Runner by Weish is no good, but into the hands of a teammate who then tosses it right to Taylor Mon. So Power turns it over to Mon, and the under four-minute media break is coming up. BYU looks like they could use a little break to collect themselves for the final couple minutes, and Weish will foul. will take that break. Fouls Blaze Neal. It'll be 1-1 one and one for BYU after this. 3.07 to go. BYU big here at the Marriott Center. 93-49 over UT Tyler on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. You're listening to BYU Basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Here's Jerem Jordan with a scoreboard update. In the NBA, the Utah Jazz down 38-28 at Sacramento. 6.45 to go in the second quarter. Now back to the Trevin Nell three-point exhibition. Here's Gregor Bell. Thanks a lot, Jerem. BYU sandwiching a UT Tyler three-pointer with a pair of 7 nothing runs. BYU on a current shooting run of 12 of 14 shots made from the field, including six for seven from three, and Trevin Nell doing a lot of that damage. Nell, 19 points to lead all scorers tonight, and all of it comes in the second half and, and in the final 14 minutes of the second half. Six for seven from the field, five for six from three, a couple of free throws. Trevin Nell leading the three-point resurgence for BYU. Jersey number three, Blaze Neald at the line. As we come back in for a couple of free throws, Blaze makes the first, one and one. Well, these exhibition game, game, not usually games, but game is a really a chance for you to say as a player, hey, coach, look at me. And, uh, and we're all looking at you, Trevin, because you're earning some real time here on the floor. Cougar lead now a game high 46 at 95-49. Blaze Neal goes two for two at the free throw line. It's a new look BYU basketball team, and... Maybe some new ways to win games this year. Backdoor cut. Nice handoff. Up and no. And foul as Fogel was fouled on his attempt at the rim. Good ball movement there by UT Tyler. Results in a BYU foul and free throws for the Patriots. 2.51 to play. We're coming to you from the Mo Betta's courtside seats here at the Marriott Center. Text the word ALOHA to 88588 to eat like a local with five bucks to try Mo Betta's Hawaiian style food. Again, text the word ALOHA to 88588 for free. Mo Betta's food. Mo Betta's style is eating the best food with Ohana or family. In Hawaii, we're all family. Mo Betta's. I do love a good Mo Betta's meal. If these are the Mo Betta's courtside seats, <laughs> doesn't that suggest that we ought to have some Mo Betta's here at these seats? Work on that, Greg. Both missed the fir- made the first, missed the second. So one for two on the free throw trip, 95-50. A reset baseline drive. Squeezed shot is short, and the Cougars on the rebound. Trevin Nell to Blaze Neal, and Blaze in the front court right side. Now to the middle, now to the left. Still on the bounce for Blaze. We'll cross over on Fogel. Got the taller man on the mismatch. Drive and kick in the corner. Shot is up, and good from Taylor Mon. It's a three-pointer. 98-50. to 50. Taylor Mon knocks it down left corner. Five for Taylor. Good assist by Blaze as he spun and knew that Mon was out there. Long three to answer. Yes, Dejan Weish is the first Patriot to double figures. He's heating it up. 98-53. Patriots trying to take the air out of the building. Mm. (laughs) But they will leave the building deflated (laughs) after a big loss as Blaze Neal's runner is no good. Rebounded by Cameron Pearson. He's fouled and he'll get... Free throws. So the only Cougar player to play and not score tonight gets a chance to score. That's Cameron Pearson to the line for a couple. 98-53, our score. 151 to play. And Cameron's on the board. Everyone has scored. Yes, uh, these Patriots defense not as impervious as the New England defense in the NFL. BYU shot 59% tonight, 56 from three, but that's all done after halftime. 
The Cougars were 0 for 4 in the first half, and Cameron Pearson scores two and brings BYU to 100. 100 to 53. Whoa! Weiss with three, the deep threes on fire, but a little too late. As the Cougars get to the century mark. Dejon Weiss makes it 100 to 56 with 90 seconds to play. Weiss with 16 now. Including four threes on the night. Four or five from deep for Dejon Weiss. Trevin Nell to Neal, far sideline. BYU left to right here in the second half as we see it and you hear it. Blaze on the bounce. Taking Weiss into the paint. Gets right to the rim. Drive and kick in the corner. No, it's a three missed by Pearson. Rebounded by Nell. And a reset to Connor Harding with one minute to play. BYU 100 and UT Tyler 56. Connor speeds up, slows down, goes to Taylor. Taylor will drive it. Ball knocked out of his hands. In the right corner, Pearson to Neal. Neal lost the handle. And then UT Tyler on the steal. Gets it to Weish in front court. Dejon Weish stops at the arc. Left wing Mason. Bradley Mason with 45 seconds to go. Penetration. Corner kick. Shot up and missed. Rebounded. No slapped out to the Patriots. Weish three, top of the key. No. Missed. Offensive rebound again by UT Tyler. Uh-oh. And a reset to 20 seconds. Weish will drive, scoop, and miss. Tip is good. There it is. Colin Wilkerson on the follow. After all of that, shot clock is That'll off. Be and BYU will win it by a score of 100 to 58. 158 is our score. BYU need not shoot. UT Tyler will not force the issue, and the Cougs can bounce this one out. Mark Durant predicted on Twitter earlier today in his now famous preseason predictions that BYU would win 99 to 56. The score is 100 to 58. I'm in pre in, in midseason uh, mid-season form. form. <laughs> <laughs> There's our horn, and BYU does win it by a score of 42. Mark Durant predicted a margin of 43. I'll get better. <laughs> Post game recap next on the new skin BYU Sports Network. <laughs> 